All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I wanted to cover something today that I think should be in everybody's car. Everyone should own one of these. If you own a car, this should be in it. Um, we're getting into summer here, so we're gonna be doing more outdoor activities, camping, all that kind of stuff, and these things are great for it. I covered it briefly in a past video, just as a little uh, highlight clip in one of my videos. Uh, but I wanted to dive in a little deeper today, and I am talking about these little portable jump starter battery packs. Now specifically, I covered this one uh, briefly in the past. This is the Hulkman 85, Alpha 85. However, uh, there's also this guy. So the Hulkman Alpha 85S or 85 runs about a hundred bucks, I think, on Amazon. Um, huge capacity with this guy though, huge capacity. But as another option, I wanted to get, show you guys this one. And this is the Type S jumper, jumper uh, jump starter and it runs $59.99, I believe, at Costco. So if you have a Costco membership, you can go over and get one super easily. Now the capacity on this guy isn't as big. Um, as you can see right here, it does have an 8,000 milliamp hour power bank. The Hulkman, on the other hand, has a 20,000 hour milliamp hour um, power bank. So now, I don't know, I don't know all the crazy details on these things, I don't know, um, if that affects the jump starting capability, but it does affect the, the ability to charge your devices. If you're out camping, if you're out on the road, um, this is acting like a power bank, so you're able to charge all your devices from it super, super easily. Um, as I make videos and things like that, if I'm out doing a detail and making videos, sometimes your camera dies, sometimes things die, right? Uh, and it's nice to have these around. I can plug into it and charge while I'm continuing to work. Not waste any time, not have to mess with my generator. I can just charge it off this stuff. It works amazingly well. Also, while camping, um, I love having these in the car. We have a sprinter van that we've built out for the kids, um, and so it's got an adjustable height bed, swivel seats, the whole nine yards to go camping in. And I love having these because, one, uh, as we're camping, we leave the doors open quite a bit, and uh, if you forget to turn the light off, you can kill your battery. If you do, no big deal, you're not stuck there. You can hook up one of these uh, jump starters and start your vehicle, no problem. Second is your cell phone and, and things like that start to die. So uh, you have this, you plug it into the USB portion of the power bank, and you're charging all your devices. Super, super easy. Um, and it's amazing. So I'm gonna show you a little clip. This is the same clip I did previously on how to use the jump starter. So the process on using these is virtually the same. You basically plug it, the, uh, the alligator clips onto the battery. It'll indicate that it knows it's on there. You can start the car. Um, now, with the Hulkman, really quickly, um, I, this does have a five minute fast charge. So if this is dead, uh, you can charge it within five minutes and charge whatever else you need. Um, and it also, it, you should never let it get down to that because uh, if you need it and it's not charged, then it's useless. It's just a brick. Um, but with this guy, it holds a charge for an incredibly long period of time and there's an indicator right on the front that shows you how much charge is left within it, so you should never have that issue. So we're gonna go ahead and roll that footage um, and then we will jump into this Type S from Costco and do a full breakdown review of this and see how you like it. All right guys, so the first thing you wanna do when using your Hulkman, you wanna open up this 12 volt uh, panel right here. Just pop this off, flips right open, and then you take your alligator clips, open up these guys, and you'll see one side, one side of it's kind of a D shape, the other one's just a circle that lines up with these really well so you know what you're, where you need to go. And that is it, so we're plugged in and ready to roll. Now, you just locate your positive and negative terminals on your battery. Now, on some vehicles, your positive will just be under a little cover, um, and then negative, you just hook onto a nice uh, grounded bolt or something like that, it's a nice piece of metal, and you'll be good. But for this one, I've got my positive here, negative here, so I'm just gonna hook this guy up. And it's nice, it comes with a little holder for the alligator clips. So let's take that out. And I'm just gonna, go whoops. I'm gonna go ahead and connect these. Negative to negative, positive to positive, and you'll see on the machine, right when I do it, if it recognizes it, okay, my charge on the unit is 93%, and it shows ready. That means it's ready to go. I'm ready to jump the vehicle. Now, um, if there's any other kind of code or anything else, if it's flashing, 
the indicators or the instructions are on the back telling you what those mean and you can just, uh, you, you may need to reset this if the battery's really dead or whatever else. So, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and start the car and uh, we'll be good to go. Now once it's started, you wanna disconnect the battery one at a time, you're good to go. Disconnect it from the machine and you're set. Car started and ready to roll. Alrighty guys, so here is the Type S 12 volt jump starter. Now this will work on a big variation of different vehicles, um, but you just wanna make sure it's a 12 volt vehicle and not a six volt like for a motor motorcycle. It will work on 12 volt motorcycle batteries. Just, uh, just to be safe, I wouldn't hook it up to a six volt because you don't want to fry it. Uh, now, as you can see here, it does say distributed by Costco Wholesale Cor Corporation. So I don't know, this may just be a Costco exclusive item. Um, now I have had one of these in the past and it was absolutely fantastic and I don't know where it went. Um, it may be in one of my vehicles, I just don't know where it is. Uh, so I actually picked up another one and I figured it'd be a good give me a good uh, opportunity to do a review for you guys on something that I think is really important to have. So we're gonna go ahead and start by opening this guy up. Um, I don't know, usually, okay, so we'll start here. It's got some little uh, tape pieces on the side. You just pop through that. And the first thing that I remember about this was how good the case is. Um, I really, enjoy, really enjoyed having the case that this thing comes with. If I can get it out here. So here's the case, really fantastic. Nice little zipper pouch. It fits in there really, really well. Um, a little, just a couple, a couple of instruction cards and things like that inside one pocket. Um, and then you have all your cables in the other pocket. So, it, oops. So you have a little cigarette lighter, um, whatever power adapter for the car. You can plug that in plug in the USB and you can charge it from your vehicle. Uh, if you're worried about it being low, you know that the car is running, you can charge it up and have it that way. Next is you have your alligator clips. Red, black, super easy. As you can see, the little prongs on the side here are very, very simple to work with um, and they just plug straight into the unit itself. Now, the unit itself, another thing that I liked about this one is just how small this guy is. So. The Hulkman is quite a bit larger, and which is why you're getting such a uh, larger capacity for the battery. But this guy is great because it's so small, it's easy, you can keep it in any vehicle, really, really simple. Um, it does have a flashlight function. Actually, you can see I just turned it on. It does show 70% right now, straight out of the box, so it's, it is usable. Um, all right, so for the flashlight function, you just press and hold this button until it comes on. And then to filter through the different modes of the flashlight, you just do a quick tap. So it goes from regular flashlight to flashing flashlight, slower flash, and off. So uh, another difference with that Hulkman, you do get a red light flashing and red light slow flash as well, which I do like if you're out stuck on the side of the road, it's nice to have that option. Um, so right on the side here, right by where the, the light uh, is, you have, two covered pieces. One is your little connection points. So you got USB, USB-C, all that kind of good stuff. Sorry about the airplanes flying over, guys. Uh, push that back in. And then this one is your connection point for the jumper cable alligator clips themselves. So you can just see it's easy enough to line up, pop them in there, and you're good to go. So with that, you just clip it onto the car and you're able to start your vehicle. Now, here is the unit compared to the Hulkman. As you can see, the Hulkman is basically twice the size um, and quite a bit girthier as well. Uh, and again, the Hulkman is an amazing uh, piece of equipment because you can start even uh, diesel engines with this thing. It has enough power to juice it up and, and get those uh, cranking amps going. Um, this one, I don't know, your standard passenger vehicles, for sure this is gonna work amazingly well. It's worked for me in the past with the one that I had before that I lost. Um, so this thing is absolutely fantastic. It's just, if you have a larger vehicle or if you're concerned with that to be safe, I would go with the Hulkman. 
Again, I will fire up uh, the flashlight for you guys on this one. And with this one as well, it is two big light indicators, which is nice. So you can fire it on. There's the lights. Press it, gets brighter light. Press it again, we got the flashing. Press it again, slow flash. Press it again, red flash and off. So a little more feature packed on this guy. It is a little bit more expensive, but this one you're never gonna have to worry about it dying on, or not being able to start something um, because this does have a larger capacity. As you can see, I still have the protective uh, cover on this little protective plastic sleeve on it. But um, if you're at Costco and you're wondering if this little Type S jump starter is a good deal, it absolutely is, guys. And just so you know as well, um, so you, for storage, it's really nice. Just slide it in there, put your cables and everything into here. Just kind of stuff them in, close it up, zip it closed, and that thing just sits in your car and you never have to worry about it. Just and it's good to go. So fantastic little unit here from Hulk. Uh, sorry, from Type S. Uh, I really, really like this one. I also love the Hulkman 85. So um, again, if you have a larger vehicle, I would go with the Hulkman 85. If you have a smaller vehicle or just a standard passenger vehicle, the Type S is all you need. Um, I'm gonna open this up real quick and plug in my phone into it just so you guys can see how you can charge your devices from it. Actually, instead of my phone, I have a couple batteries here for my camera that I need to charge. So we'll go ahead and pop this little door open and plug this into the USB. Bam. Oh, sorry, we gotta power it on. Just by tapping the little light button there. And as you can see, it is charging. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see that a little better probably. So there you are. It's charging up, working great. I have 70% of my battery capacity on the charger itself. And uh, yeah, it works absolutely amazing. Um, like I said, guys, whichever one you go with, either the Hulkman or the Type S, you can't go wrong. They're both fantastic products. All right, so there you have it, guys. I hope that helps you. Um, again, really quickly, the Hulkman, higher capacity, higher jumping capabilities, um, higher battery capacity, also has more functions for the lights. So it's kind of a nicer, uh, a nicer package on this guy here. Um, I do carry this one in my work truck. Um, that way, if I'm working on a customer's vehicle and it dies, I'm able to uh, jump, uh, jump start it for them. Sometimes you don't know if the customer's battery is good in the vehicle. And as you're detailing the vehicle, um, you have the doors open and you're working and sometimes the battery dies, you can't start it. So having this on hand is amazing and you're able to jump start it into the cars and it works really well. For my wife's car, she just has a little Toyota RAV4. We just keep this guy in there. Super simple, nice and small, compact, doesn't take up a lot of space, keep it in the back, um, and we never have to worry about her getting stranded on the road either. So uh, either way, whether you go with the Hulkman or the Type S, both fantastic options. I hope that helps again, guys. Please give me a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you like the video, make sure you're subscribed. Comment below, let me know which one you'd like better, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.